Hey, Aviation Nation, Dave here. I've got a really special treat for you today. Uh, several months ago, when I first brought the SR-22 back to Central Florida, uh, I had the opportunity to go flying with the country's, at the time, youngest uh, CSIP, uh, Cirrus Standardized Instructor Pilot. And uh, Spencer uh, was awesome, uh, knowledgeable young guy. Um, he was the son of my very best friend in high school. So it's really weird the way things come together around these uh, unique events. Um, but I got the camera set up really well this time. I got the nice uh, uh, over the shoulder uh, instrument camera and I think you're really gonna enjoy this. For those of you that wanna understand uh, as I'm learning and you're, it's gonna be obvious by this video that I'm still learning, this is early on in my training, that I'm, as, as you see this, uh, this presentation, you're gonna see the power of the Garmin Perspective Plus and the differences between the Perspective Plus and the Avidyne, and they are dramatic. Um, but what I've found so far is, once you understand the flows, once you understand what Garmin is designed to do, this system is amazing. It is a, it is a great situational awareness. Um, and really at the end of the day, once you understand what it's doing, then you can understand the flow behind it. So uh, here's some great stuff. I know this is a little bit long, uh, but uh, really good stuff. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, click the like button. And um, we're so close to getting our 1,000 subscribers. So uh, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and that'll uh, increase our uh, exposure on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Is there a camera on that side too? There's a camera on the wing, watch. Wow. That's cool. On. Now it's taping. Wow. Okay. All right, ready? Ready to roll. All right. Oh, this, put this here. So just get, your, way. get your next checklist up okay. and ready. Normal takeoff. Okay. So brakes, you just you review this first? Yes. So brakes, steer with rudder, power lever full forward. We'll have the engine page up. We're going to rotate 73, 76. And uh, flaps up at 90. We do have flaps in. 90, clear of obstacles. Uh, clear of obstacles, correct. Okay. Cool. Boost is on. Flow is on. Okay. Let's release. We're going to make a call. Do the whole flow. So fullest tank. Yep. Boost. Mm hmm Toga. Oh, toga. Rich. Rich. 50. Pre-circ. Switches. And both. Okay. okay. You want, you just strobe on or you want everything on? You can just do the strobes. That's okay. All. Cool. All right. Okay, you want to make a call? Yeah. Pilot Country Airport, November 731. Juliet Hotel, uh, departing runway 36. Any traffic? Uh, Pilot Country. Uh, your Cirrus, Cirrus 731, Juliet Hotel. Did I say Cirrus? Uh, no. What did I say? You just said the tail number. Saying oh, the tail okay. number doesn't tell people if they're looking for a, a citation. Gotcha. Or... Uh, you know, driver copter. Yep. So just try to specify a most serious okay. departing. Yep. Uh, 
we cannot use this because this is part of the taxiway. We can't use that, right? Yep, technically. You, te yeah. Do you, does that mean you ever do that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big rule follower. Yeah. <laughs> taxiway. There you go. Now we got some fuel flow. Doesn't yeah, like just, it, it shook properly. it enough, right? So you need to start trimming Oops, down. trim, trim, trim. Yeah, it, this thing gets away yep. so quick, even more than the SR-20. Especially when you have a headwind. Okay, we are clear of obstacles. Flaps coming up. Good. Trim down. Trim down. Let's just go up to Brooksville. Let's practice a few landings to get warmed up. Okay. How's that? Sure. Stay in the toga. Number trim. Yep. Cool. 600. Just nice and easy. Brooksville is straight ahead. Right over that way. Okay. Not far. <clears throat> so if you want to program. Is this clearing here? Uh, 15 November train. It's right up there. Okay, so let's practice here. Autopilot. And then heading. And uh, just stop it. Stop our climb. Okay. Just hit out. Out. That's going to stop the climb. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay, now if you notice that something, bugs the climb. stopped it at 1250, we're here. Yep. So if we take it off and click it back on again, it'll capture a more close one. Oh, so gotcha. So it doesn't plummet us. Gotcha. Okay. And Brooksville Towers, uh, Sierra 731 Juliet Hotel. Sierra 731 Juliet Hotel, Brooksville Tower. Yeah, good afternoon, or, or yeah, afternoon, sir. 731 Juliet Hotel, we're in SR 22, about six south, just off of Pilot Country inbound for a few touch and goes, please. Sierra 731 Juliet Hotel, Brooksville, wind 040 at 12, altimeter 3014, port a three mile straight in final for runway three. Three miles straight into three, seven three one Juliet Hotel. Right. Four X-ray Tango, turn left. See runway two, three there. Ground point four. Let's get a straight in. Left down okay, two, let's get straight in. Let's sh slow down. Yep. So let's take it off autopilot. Okay. Take a left turn. I think of about three three zero. Power airline four. Just seven. bring your power down to airline about four, fifteen. Roger. Just really start slowing it down. See the runway, right? Yep. Okay. I do. So like a 45. Uh, just get, join the final. He wants you on a. He wants us to report a three-mile final. Okay. So this is. Well, you already set it up. Yep. So just turn this way. Okay. We'll just join the straight in. <clears throat> oh, there it is, right here. Okay. Yeah. So flaps at 50. Because I'm slow enough. Uh, tower 731 Chilead Hotel, we're joining a three mile final runway three. And we'll go landing in Navalite. Number 731 Chilead Hotel, Roger. Runway three, clear touch and go. On the go, make right traffic, report downwind each time. Okay, runway three, clear touch and go, right traffic, report downwind each time. 731 Chilead Hotel. See, 20% was our. Cherokee 6 to November, turn left. 100 knot full flaps, or was that our 50%? November, thank you much. Say that one more let's time. Let's try it again. Or let's try full flaps. I should be. Our airline force is clear of your airspace south. 95? 12 inches uh, and 100% flaps will give you 80 descending 500 feet a minute. Oh, 80, okay. Now you have a 13 knot headwind. Yeah. So you may need to give it a little more power to actually make it Just to compensate, the runway. Yeah, compensate for the headwind. Yes. Yep. 30%. Oh, I'm not losing speed. So you're, you recommend 85 over the fence? Yeah, 80, 85 over the numbers, probably uh, like more more leaning toward 85 today 500. because of the wind. Yep. It'll help you break through that wind some. Do you see zero four zero in the wind? Uh, wind 
check, please. Wind zero four zero at one two. Thank you, sir. Pretty much right down the pipe. Yeah, pretty much. I'm a little high. A little left. Yeah. Thing's got a heavy tail. Yeah, so just aim right for that number, and remember you got that headwind, so it's going to provide extra lift, so you're really going to have to let it settle. And you can't slam it into ground effect. Yep. Getting slow there. Give yourself a little power. Just level the nose off. Give yourself some power. There. Now you can ease it out. Does it want to land with power? Idle. There you go. Nice job. Thanks. Yeah, a little, little chat, a little windy there. Come on, get over here. Lots of right rudder. You've all the way through the climb. Activate your toga. Full power. Sorry about that. Nice part about this plane, keep your hand on the throttle. Um, nice part about this plane is that it's got so much power, even 70% will get you get your way man. off. Yep. And we're making right traffic. Okay, flaps up, clear obstacle. Got that on video. Uh, this is a thousand foot. Uh, eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. I can't see it. There it is. Is that about right, spacing wise? Probably want a little more room, or you're really gonna have to hairpin this yeah. turn. Yeah. Uh, I I discovered that into pilot country. Yeah. I brought it in pretty. Uh, there goes my power. Just gonna have to use seven three one Juliet Hotel uh, midfield. There's one Juliet inches. Hotel runway three clear touch and go. Runway three clear touch and go seven three one Juliet Hotel. And then bring it back to fifteen. So that's how. You know, it get, gets away from you quick. Okay, flaps. Take our turn. And our uh, 3 one Juliet Hotel. If we want to do a few practice approaches, uh, would 9 work best for you? Actually, I can work out 9 if you want to, or I can work out the um, RNAV to 3, your choice. Yeah, we'll uh, probably do a few to nine after this touch and go. How'd you plan a left turn out westbound one Juliet Hotel? Uh, Roger, one Juliet Hotel. It's, it's, it's gusty. Yeah. A little high. Try not to cease all the power so much. Yeah. Remember, you have so power set setting. So set it 12. 12, 100% flaps. Put your nose about five degrees, nose down. And let it settle. Twelve inches. Twelve inches. There it is. So you may have to, since you're a little high, um, I'm gonna slip. Uh, you can either slip or you can hold a little more power off. But it looks like this will set up nicely. Yeah. So just remember those power settings. Yeah. They work. Use them. Right. Instead of playing a guessing game. So you're kind of lined up uh, in the grass right now. Yeah. Down the center line. Out on the center line? Nope. How's that? Uh, still to the left. More to the right. A little more. Reduce some power. You're used to coming into that 20 with yeah. power. 
Nice. Okay, flaps up. This is full power. Boy, it just... It really wants to pull. It really wants to slip. Okay. Make sure with that, that wind. Make sure you're using plenty of right rudder. Yeah. Tower, Air Life 4. Air Life 4, Brooksville Tower. Brooksville Tower, Air Life 4. I am now five miles uh, to the southeast, heading northbound. I'm now going to clip your airspace by about four and a half miles outside to the eastern Oof. side of the transition. <laughs> Air Life 4, it's, it's, it's as requested. It's uh, blustery. 0-1-4, advise clear the area. It is like gusty. It. Okay, left. And we'll go west. The coast. Yep. 600. 90 clear. And tower 31 Juliet Hotel, we're beginning that left turn out to the west. 31 Juliet Hotel, roger. Advise inbound on the approach. Maintain VFR. Okay, we'll maintain VFR and advise inbound on the approach. 731 Juliet Hotel. Alright, I'll drive for a minute. Okay. Actually, set the autopilot up. Okay. Um, Bring your power back to uh, 20 inches on the manifold pressure. Let's get it slowed down so we don't end up in Mexico before we... Uh, yeah. This thing's fast. Uh, here's your free fuel flow again. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. All right, so usually it's it's bug, heading, autopilot, right? Yep, and then let's uh, get an altitude. So uh, why don't you climb and maintain uh, 2,500, because that's probably where every approach is going to begin at. Okay, so flight level change, right? Yep. At Full power. Good. 120, flight level change. I did. We're good. Perfect. Read your scoreboard. Heading. Uh, autopilot on, yaw damper on, and flight level change at 120 knots. To what altitude? 25. You said two, right? 2,500 would be fine. Okay. Yep. All right, so once we get up there, just uh, level us off at 2,500. Okay. Just use uh, 20 inches on the manifold pressure so we don't full power to climb once we level off. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. And um, we'll, we'll begin with the ILS Runway 9. Okay. okay. I'm just going to show you and get you in this habit of just loading and shooting approaches. Perfect. Okay. I, I'm not so much like into babysitting grown men to make sure that they're studying. Yep. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to get you going on the approaches, loading them, shooting yep. them, how to shoot them, how to fly the MIST procedure, those right. sort of things. Okay. So we'll get up here 20 inches. I think the plane's telling me to use to use manifold pressure. Yeah. Because that's all we got. All right. Okay. Here you and, go. All right. And then, uh, so let's load the ILS runway nine procedure. Okay, so procedure. We should be on, did you load Brooksville? You tell me if Brooksville's loaded. Okay. All right, you don't even have to move. Where can you see that? Oh, up here. There you go. Oh, okay. Yep. So enter. And you said ILS 9? Yes. So ILS 9. Good. And We're gonna... uh, let, let's begin that abroad. Okay. Okay, so let's say, um, you know, we are, we are flying uh, uh, IFR and we have requested the ILS runway 9 beginning at broad to a full stop at Brooksville. Okay. So we know we can expect broad. Okay. All right. I love this. Yeah. So this is the ILS runway 9. We'll get the so right chart. Let's not brief it yet. Let's get it loaded. Okay. One so thing at a time. Clear? No. Ch charts. Okay. okay. So we're not going to set minimums because so I don't know what they are. Let us, yeah, that's what you, that's, here is when you go to charts, and okay. that's when it brings you to the bottom. Ah, gotcha. Okay. okay. For 276. So 300? Yep. Okay. So, so then we go back. Okay, that's convenient. So yep. it takes your, it knows where you want to go. Yes. Okay. So 300. So Oops. Oh, 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 I'm going to turn that on. Little knob. Procedure. Yep, you're going to have to You're going to start all over. Yep. Okay, whoops. Big knob, little knob, good. Okay. 
And then we're going to go arrow. And we're going to go enter. Go 300 feet. Good. Enter. And, and then load we're going to load it. Now. Yep. Got it. So it's loaded in. All right. So we're flying along, da 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 da. We are 20 miles out, so we have our approach loaded. Now let's brief our approach. Okay. So we're we're on vectors right now. We're getting we're getting loaded in. Go uh, down a little bit here. We're just getting our ass kicked over the water. Okay, so this is the Brooksville ILS for runway nine, and we know we're on the right plate. Uh, we're gonna. Dial in, or let's see, we don't need a local, well, we do need a localizer, right? Start with frequencies. So 134.725, so I need my ASOS. Okay, where would weather go? We'll go down here, right? Okay, and so I want to go. It's, it's already there. Oh. So oh, it already pulled it? it? Um, it didn't already pull it. I think it was there from whenever you came over yesterday. Did oh. you listen to it? Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go right to my weather. I'm going to listen. Observation 1735 Zulu. Wind 050 zero zero at 10. Zero. Visibility 10. Zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature 17 Celsius. Dew point 06 Celsius. Altimeter 3013. Remarks observation. Okay, got that. 1735 yeah. Zulu. Good. Uh, the next thing is our approach course is 90, uh, wait a minute, or a tamper approach is 125.3. Yeah. I've so that's it. how we call it up. Yep, if we were going to use approach port, but we aren't. But we're not, we're our local approach. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to use tower. Yep. Okay. Brooksville, 118.55. Huh? 121.4, if we're going to be on the ground, we're not. And where would ground go? Well, here, right? Yes, and calm to so, what So I could actually go... Uh, uh, calm, right? Yep. 121.4. Four. Good. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to go to my... Uh, da, 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 so it's going to be chart options. Oh, chart. Okay. Chart options profile. So we need to go back here. So let's go to the header. Okay. Okay, your localizer frequency. Even though this system automatically puts it into nav, yep. let's confirm it. I okay, got gotcha. 11075. Final approach course is 094. So when we intersect the localizer, we're going to bug 094 or whatever our missed approach would be. In this case, the missed approach is runway heading to the Dades intersection. Okay. So we'll bug 094 whenever we turn the final. Okay. We're going to intercept the glide slope at JADMO, which is 1,600 feet. Our decision altitude is 276. And it's also displayed here. The minimums that you loaded. Yeah, that I loaded. In. Right, JADMO, yeah. we're calling it 300. Okay. Okay, Mr. Approach has climbed to 3,000 feet on a 090 heading. Inbound on the Lakeland VOR radio 330 to Dade's intersection, 258 from Lakeland and hold. Okay. okay. And then that's whenever you can go here. And okay. you can brief it going down. So there's our initial approach pick. Well, this is our initial approach. Yeah. Hunt to Broad. Uh, what we're is the D11.2 IOS? That's, that's uh, DMS, 11.2 miles. From where? From the reference, which is the runway. I think it's the end of the runway, isn't it? Yeah, so, so the localizer station, which in this yeah. case is the end of the runway. Yeah. Skyhawk 148. Is that, the, is that what this indication is? Yeah, that's the missed approach point Skyhawk when you're on the Oh, that's 1.2 miles, so it must be behind yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's yeah. like right there. Down, yeah. Down. Okay. Down. So we go, we're going to first. Victor, Roger, are you going to uh, park at the fuel farm? First step point is going to be 2,000 to 1,600. I want my guy to do some cool stuff. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bug. 
Yes, uh, ultimately part 300, right? 8-1, Victor. Is that what you do? Three nope, so three. <coughs> right Wind now, zero, zero, one, oh, it's one, bucked here. Three, zero, one, yeah. three. Okay. So right now, you're going to get 2,000. Okay. Okay. This is where you have the difference between precision and non-precision approaches and what, you, what altitudes you're bugging. Yep. On a precision approach, once you have intercepted the glide slope, What's going to happen? You're just going to fly the glide slope down, so you bug the missed approach altitude, which is 3,000 in this case. Okay, okay. Obviously, on a non-precision approach, you have to bug your step-downs, and then once you would bug the last step-down here, in this case, would be the, the minimums, right? Yep. Which would be 460, so we'll call it 500. Once you've bugged 500, you've descended to 500, and it's captured 500, that's when you can bug your missed approach, okay? So we're going to turn on to the final, bug 090. Once we intercept the glide slope, bug 3,000. Okay, we're just bugging our missed approach. I get it. Yes. Okay. That's why we want these numbers. So 3,000 a missed. Probably good idea to send, put it down here. 3,000. And zero nine zero. Yep. And that should be that zero nine zero should intercept the dates. It's gonna intercept the, the, the radial three three zero. Three three zero. Okay. We're going into the Dades intersection. So that's Dades three three zero radial. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. So done here. Charts off. Okay. Okay. There's our. So now we get into, so let's, we, we just simulated we were 20 miles out. We got the weather, we loaded the approach, we briefed the approach. So now we're ready to fly the approach. We're approaching the airport, okay? Okay. And we go, uh, Sierra 731 Juliet Hotel, descend and maintain 2,000, proceed direct broad. Okay, descend and maintain 2,000, proceed direct broad, 731 Juliet Hotel. So I'm going to go altitude select, 2,000, flight level change. Vertical speed. I'm sorry, vertical speed. That's what I want. 100, uh, 500? Yep. Good. Is that 500 there? Yep. So it's okay. going to display here, yep. here, and about there. There it is. Okay. okay. All right. Then I'm going to go to my FMS knob. Down to broad, direct, enter, right? Perfect. Correct, enter, and I'm going to activate it. Yes. Because we've been. So when you went to broad here, did you activate the approach? No. I activated that waypoint. No. So if you go in, you go direct to a fix within an approach. Okay. It is activated. It's automatically, okay. It is automatically activated. Okay. Okay. The other way you could have done it was if you went to procedure, activated approach. And on this particular pattern, uh, Lanny, we'd like to do a touch and go. Just going to make it comfortable. Do a couple more patterns. Yeah. 18 inches. So, one victory. 18. Right? So, wind is 040 at 12, gust to 19. So, we have so activated the approach. On the go make right and you notice once you activate, it loads in your altitudes for you. Okay. Oh, so, I don't even need to know that. It's right there. Yep. That's where I'm going to. That's where we have the option of using the go-around button, right? The, the go-around is automatically, how do I activate the go-around? So when you pass your missed approach point, yep. the go-around will activate. Okay. And then you can use the toga button to draw you the seven and a half degree nose up attitude. So power to full toga or toga power to full? Both. Okay. You're gonna. Yeah, that's why it's here. When you hit 300, you're going to go full power, toga, the missed approach will activate and climb out. Okay. Okay. It's just too damn easy. All right. It's going to, Sierra 731 Juliet Hotel, you are three miles north of Broad, maintain that or above 2,000 uh, till established in the localizer, cleared the ILS runway 9 approach. All right. Cleared ILS 9 approach uh, at or above 2,000, and we will we'll advise uh, one on the approach. 
so he doesn't have to advise him. He's I, we don't advise when established. Excuse me. He's, he'll see you on radar. You don't, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So you're just going to stay at or above 2,000 till established. Cleared ILS runway nine. Okay. You cleared the approach. That's your cue to hit approach mode. Yep. Because you've been cleared, so now you can descend. Yep. So arm the approach mode. Okay. How do I? What happened when I did that? I don't know why I didn't take it. Oh, because you're in Vertical heading mode track. right now. Oh. Hit nav. Good. And then approach? Yeah. Go ahead. There we go. There it is. So V nav not armed because it's an fine. ILS. So we have localizer and then you have your glide slope. Okay. And it should all just start turning us in. Why is it saying V nav not armed? It wouldn't arm a V nav uh, on it an will. ILS, it would will. it? Your V nav localizer is right there. Of course. Oh. Yep. Why does it say not armed? Um, it's just because it's not armed. If we wanted to fly a VNAV, we would use this right here. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. That's only if you're flying the GPS approach. Yep. We're this you, approach has both. We're flying an ILS with a GPS overlay. Okay. Okay. If you want to fly a green needles, you hit the CDI button there. Yep. So you can CDI. hit CDI. And uh, now... Okay. You're there. Okay. Come on. Not happy. There we go. Okay. So you want to go back to the ILS? So, no, nope, we're good. We can fly the ILS using green needles. Okay. And Brooksville Tower 731 Juliet Hotels. Just past broad inbound ILS 9. Here's 731 Juliet Hotel, Roger. Report JADMO inbound. And on the missed approach, plan to execute the missed approach at UCFOT prior to the numbers of runway 9 with a left turnout. Okay, yeah. Uh, we'll advise JADMO and uh, we'll plan to execute the missed approach at UCFOT. Uh, left turnout, 731 Juliet Hotel. All right. UCFOT? Yeah. The hell's that? that is. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. All right, so now we're just watching the movie, right? Yep. We've been cleared, so we've activated approach mode. We've captured the localizer. We know the ILS has just, the, the, there the it comes, the diamond. Glide slope has just come alive. Yep, that's the diamond. Okay. Yep. Yep. On a precision approach, when do you begin configuring for descent? Uh, at the uh, at the initial approach fix. Half a dot above. Pardon me? Okay, half a dot above here. Okay. You bring your power back to 15 and 50. Right? So this this here, half a dot above the diamond, half a dot above here. Yeah, so when the diamond's right there. Okay. One zero one Delta Lima. So that's when I bring my flaps to 50. Yep. Power to... 15. 15, okay. it's going to capture and start descending. 101 Delta Lima, Brookshill Tower. Wind 030 at 12, altimeter 3012. You're just going to do one touch and go, or you're going to stay in a pattern? Just one touch and go on department cell. One Delta Lima, Roger. Report a two mile straight in final for runway three. And one zero one Delta Lima, we'll report the two mile final for runway three. Okay. I mean, you're here now. Okay. 15. And 50% on the flaps. This is a good time to make sure your mixture is rich as well. Rich, boost on. Good. Okay. Brooksville Tower, Skyhawk 9. How many Mike miles Charlie? away are you from Jad? Skyhawk 9 or 4 or 5, Mike Charlie, Brooksville Tower. Uh, Brooksville 7 Tower, miles. Skyhawk 9 or 5, Point Mike Charlie. Uh, 7 tenths of a mile, yeah. yeah. Inbound for landing. How far are we away and from Brooksville? And departure, we have the weather. 9 or 4 or 5, Mike Charlie, right? You said landing as in 5 miles. miles. Yeah. It's going to be a full stop today, northbound departure, 5 Mike Charlie. 9045 Mike Charlie, wind 020 zero at 11, one, gust 19. So, so two seconds. One, two. See how we're a little fast. Three east yep. of the airport for a so. right downwind to runway 3. 12. Yep. We'll report. Okay, minimums are 300. Three, so we're going to start at 1,000 right feet to minimums call out at okay. 1,300. Runway 3. Mike Charlie. Tower 3 1 Juliet Hotel, Jadmo. 731 Juliet Hotel, Roger Runway 9, clear for the option, advise on the go at Uckfart with a left turn out northbound. Okay, uh, clear for the option, runway 9, we'll advise at Uckfart with a left turn northbound, 731 Juliet Hotel. Tower 81, Victor has turned right base, runway 3. 
Roger, Roger. 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 Roger.